Hi everyone, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to create the planner cover and also the folders inside this planner. So I'll show you how to make these. Um, I use again my cinch and you're going to need a scoreboard and a trimmer to trim your papers. Okay, so let's make the cover first. Now I went ahead and pre-cut this. You're going to need um, design paper or you can use a lightweight chipboard. Um, it's up to you. I did use just design paper on my cover um, because this is um, a really nice thick design paper. Um, but if you're going to use a much thinner design paper, you can always use a lightweight chipboard as well. Okay, so this cover um, it's basically 11 and a half inches wide and you're going to score that at five and a quarter and six and a quarter. Okay, and then this side is nine and one eighths and you're going to score that at one inch and eight and one eighths inch. Okay, so once you do all that, you're going to fold all the score lines and you're going to cut out these two tabs right here. So you're going to remove that and then you're just going to put it together. See it's that quick and easy. And I got this glue when I went to Tuesday morning. It's called Adhesive Tech. It was only 99 cents and I wanted to give it a try and I actually really like it. It has a really nice fine tip to it. So you can check out your Tuesday morning. So let's just add adhesive here to the tab right here. And you just line it up. Okay, let's do the other end. And you can decorate the front however you want. I just um, used my Brenda Walton bow die to decorate my front. But you can add some really nice touches to the front, the cover. Okay, so that's the cover. Just let it sit for a little bit to dry. Double sided tape would be quicker. Give it a few seconds to try here. Okay, so we're going to set that to the side while it dries. Okay, so we'll put that to the side. Now, for the folder, you're going to need a 10 by 10. Okay, it's nice to use double-sided paper because, again, you're going to see both sides of the folder. So, like, for example, this is double-sided paper, so it looks really pretty. Um, this one is single-sided, but it's still really nice. So, what you're going to do is, again, it's 10 by 10. You're going to score it at 5, so right in the middle. And you can see based on the direction of the image here, the bottom is going to, you're going to face towards the left of the scoreboard and you're going to score that at um, three inches. Well, actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to do it three inches. Okay. And then let's put this to the side here. Now you're going to take your cinch, but let's fold this first. So let's fold that in half. Just keep in mind when you're using an image that only goes one direction, um, when you do fold the folder, you're going to see that the typewriters are upside down. So you just want to keep that in mind. Okay because I wanted 
the typewriter is facing the correct direction on the back of the folder. Okay, so once you do that, now I'm just going to, I actually want to fold it. So you can see it creates the shape of the folder. Okay, so now you're going to take your cinch, and on the cinch, the tabs that you are going to pull are 1, 2, and 12. Now on the ruler here, you're going to see that there's this adjustable ruler. Oops. You're not going to move it. It's going to stay put, basically. Okay? So we're going to take our folder, and we're going to put it in the machine here, push it all the way to the back, and then I'm going to punch. And then you're going to see it makes the holes here. Now what I did to get my folders to look like this, you can see here it's not covering the holes right here, the slit here. I'm just going to open it up. Okay, and then I'm going to close it. And then I'm going to turn it upside down. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut at an angle, but I'm going to make sure I cut out these holes out. So just get as close to the circles or the punch holes as you can. You don't have to get exactly close to it. So it's going to look like that. Okay, and I do make an extra one like this if I'm making multiple folders because I like to line the second one up with this to make sure they match. I mean, you don't have to do that, but I like mine to all be the same, um, I guess, size, you know. And then now what you're going to do is you're going to fold it up. And then you'll notice when you fold it up, you see it's not covering the holes. Okay. And then you're going to take some, um, I just use like this 1 8 double-sided tape. Um, I purchased this a long time ago at a craft fair. And you're just going to get close to the edge as you can. And then do it to this side as well. And then just peel that out. And it's that quick to make. They're super cute folders. And if you want to make different sizes, you just do the same exact steps. Okay? And there you go. you got your little folder. Um, the cover is, again, 5x7. And so I cut a piece of 5x7 design paper. And you're just going to place it through your cinch again. So everything is already set. And you just punch the holes like so. Okay. And then it just goes over your little folder. And then you just keep adding um, whatever you want to decorate it with. Okay. And then you can see it fits really nicely in the cover. And you can make a really super cute um, planner for the cover for someone special. And then you can see it just sits in like that, like so, and just stands up like that. So I hope you give it a, a try, and thanks everyone so much for watching. Bye.